are you guys how are you guys feeling about the inevitability of new Sox park we were we had a big I, yeah. discussion we, about it today i i'm uncomfortable with how quickly things have escalated here i i'm just because it, it does it does feel like there's a reward for an owner that hasn't really been trying for a while. And I don't, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that, that he seems to be kind of the, the tail wagging the dog a little bit on this. But, but, but that's how stadiums work though. Right? Like he's, I, I don't, it's weird because this has been his vanity project for a long time. The White Sox is Jerry Reinsdorf's vanity project in a bad way. And that, and that building that he's trying to leave uh -huh. has also been his vanity project for a long time. But here's the opportunity to use his vanity to let his vanity work for the betterment of the organization and the fans. If he cares truly, and I've been told that he really does about his legacy and about leaving this thing on the South side and in a healthier place. And that's for his vanity. Then great. Like it, it could be a vanity project here at the end. That his very last thing will be to leave this place in this organization in that place. Like Jerry Jones's ugly vanity is all over that jewel of a stadium in Dallas. And that's been great for them for decades. So let his vanity work in your favor now. Like this is a good thing. It seems like you guys think this might not be a good thing. I, well, I'm because not I, willing to I, say I, it's a good thing. Oh, until I'm not there for the, the math. health for I'm the not. health of a franchise long term to have a, I, 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 a stadium where they're going to put it. Yeah, I'm, what's wrong with where they have a stadium? Yeah, now? I, I like where oh, this. Stadium. Well, where the stadium is going to be is vastly better in terms of the possibilities. And then what happens to the place where the stadium was? I'm not sure. I, yeah, I, I, mean, I, I don't just, know. I would like it, answers to I, those questions. But, but hold on. But like, can, can we admit that the place where they're going to build is vastly better for the health of a baseball organization than where they are but now? I'm worried about the health of the city. I, I'm concerned about the health of Chicago more than I am the health of a baseball team. I want there to be, an, I mean, to make sure that this is done fairly economically. I want to make sure that there's enough parkland. I just I, to me it's about the it's about the civic health more than the franchise's health. I, that that land is not parkland right now. That land is no, nothing. I, I know, but it, but what about the what? How can everything end up better? I'm not worried. The health of the White Sox. That's for the White Sox. They're a private business, and if they want to spend money, as long as it's not my money, if they want to spend money to build whatever they want to build, that's fine. I'll, I'll go. I'll go have a hot dog, and and if the team's good, I'll have fun. But that, I mean, but that's. It, that that really isn't my, my concern is that we're doing right by the citizens oh, okay. of the city and the taxpayers. Well, okay. Uh, who said it's only two L stops away today? Me. Okay. But like Lawrence, you know that like the difference in terms of the viability for the franchise to be at 1200 South as opposed to 3500 South is a massive, massive difference. It, it is. But I think that most of that massive, massive difference is from people that have allowed themselves to believe in boogie monsters and myths about going south of Cermak, which I don't know that that we should necessarily play into. Like, like I, I've always hated when people have talked about the difficulty of getting there because it's not that difficult. And there's stuff that still needs to be built. Like someone said to me, well, well, the Metro line, the Metro electric line, uh -huh. well, then that'll let you off at Roosevelt. The Where the Metro line lets you off at Roosevelt is far farther like people need to realize that they are east of indiana that is almost lakeshore drive where the metro lets you off at roosevelt for you to then walk to clark it's not going to be easy to do it if that's the way that you want to do it. yeah but but i mean there's a reason that we mourned and laughed at the missed opportunity of the south loop stadium from 1989 because 12th street it means that you are a walk away from downtown. I walk it all the time. I know. I ride a bike all the time from 12th Street to, to downtown. So you can walk there. You can walk from active parts of the lakefront to Roosevelt and Canal. You can't do that right now at 35th Street. I mean, maybe maybe yes, someday. Can. Yeah, no, but there there is there is the perception and some reality and some reality 
of the fact that you that it's a, a little a little more awkward, a little more dangerous to people, whether it is whether it actually is or not. But seriously, one walk away or one quick bus ride away from downtown, that's not the reality of 35th Street. And that would be the reality of this place. I, that's massive. I mean, it being close to down, I, I would love to see a building built there. I just think that there are other things. I don't like how quickly this has kind of just been like, oh, rubber stamped of, well, it's going to be awesome so that we should do it. There are other things to consider other than it's going to be awesome, so we should do it. That's where I'm at. Because I do think it would be awesome. I do think that that view would be great. I do think it would do a lot to kind of change the way that people perceive the White Sox. But I also think that as, as the city is already starting to bend over backwards for Jerry, I haven't seen the owner of the White Sox bend over backwards for the fan base that he is going to ask for both their tax money in some form, in some form, and and the, the folks that live in Cook County ask for their tax money. And I wish there were a level of good faith that was coming from the owner to the fan base as there is from people being like, Look, well, that seems cool. Let's do it. Well, cynicism about Jerry is obviously is obviously well-founded. But like Manfred flat out laid it out how this is going to happen yesterday. Well, that, that's that what I mean, that, that it's, it's been portion, rubber stamped. It's the portion of the 2% of the hotel tax. It's not something new that people have to vote on. I mean... It's I, I, I just no think it, new taxes. It's read just my the lips. Old taxes. Read my lips. No you. new taxes. All right. Well, that, that's fine. But I, the, what we heard this morning, it sounded like there was a denial or a lack of acceptance that the 2.2 mile difference between where it is now and where it will pur purportedly be, it changes everything. Not for me. It, it doesn't. It, it might, uh, what, what, it's not about you. That's what I'm saying. It, it, like, but it's, it's about like it, uh, as a business and like why do you care people, about their business? Well, because I want two healthy baseball teams in this okay. town because this town is better well, when there are two healthy teams I, with two I healthy would, fan bases and franchises. I would not, and the I city would, wants it, too. But they're not a they'll healthy be the fan only, base. They're be the incredibly only, unhealthy Well, they can get base. healthier this way. That, that's the whole thing. That, okay, but again, that's if they want to spend their money to improve for everything that they've done to alienate fans, to make everybody miserable and treat them all like garbage, they better pony up the money and do this because I, I think it, there's a, it takes a lot of gall mm -hmm. to treat White Sox fans the way they've been treated and then say, I get you. give us our money to build us our building. And, and, as a, and as a South Sider, I also think that it's a, a little bit of a slap in the face of Chinatown Bridgeport for the White Sox as an organization to, to build their profile on. We are of Bridgeport. We are of 35th Street. And then to say, that's not good enough. You know what we need to do? We need to move closer to downtown. After all they've done, there, with, with all of the rivalry and, and all of their bitterness, or it's a com complete capitulation to their primordial, their, their rival. It's not a reciprocated rivalry, but all the all the bitterness they've harbored against the Cubs, it is a tacit capitulation to their business model. <laughs> well, I mean, listen, I think what you said, Dan, about if they would have tilted the stadium and then the perception would have been different Nine day i i completely agree with you and we were talking about this when speaks was out of town about how ridiculous it was that it was about keeping the address the same and what an unbelievable mistake that was and they went in the face of what mlb even recommends for sunlight to face it the way that it was unbelievable mistake it's not far from downtown <laughs> it it isn't far from downtown but and it is in a neighborhood and people can walk there but but the people walk, don't. The walk, we, I mean, but the walkability score of the two different places, just like in the city, is much I, higher in the new location. I we were, mm, we, were, we were looking it up. I know, like, I know, but but that's before they're going to have to change a lot of things to make this work. Like, well, well, I mean, obviously, obviously, we will see what like that. We don't know what the infrastructure around it is ultimately going to look right, like. Which right, which is which is what I'm asking people to think about is I, I mean, yeah, think about sure. think about for example think about what roosevelt road is like right now oh yeah it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be worse on game days it's gonna be worse yeah. during construction sure of this and it's already bad think about that hold on i'm not done okay think about what clark street is like right now and and how there are it is cut off from the West, 
You can only kind of get to it from the east and what that's going to be like. Think about what happens to the building and the neighborhood itself it, that you're leaving and what that says. Like there's there's a lot in here to it, it's it's a shiny toy. And I I really do like the idea of man, it would be so cool if the White Sox were able to get that same view that I had in college that you get at Granderson Field. That would be fantastic Look, for the White Sox. They're an unhealthy organization financially, but you know, for a lot of their own doing. They made the sweetheart deal with the with, with with the state, and that meant that they couldn't build around what they have, and so they completely derailed their opportunity to build and develop around 35th Street. They absolutely crapped down their leg with that, and they have failed. So now they're going to move to a place that is already built up and be able to build some ballpark village right there on their space. Here's the thing. Anytime it's come up, I feel like you guys have been a quick agree in terms of, man, they blew it last time. They should have built at 16th and Michigan when it was wide open and it would have been one quick bus ride for the businessman special and people would have walked or rode bikes after work and gone to games and they would have not have they would not have the attendance problems they have. Here's the opportunity. Impossibly somehow there's a parcel of land available for the health of the organization for the next 30 years. The idea of being in that kind of spot should be the same like, oh yeah, that would be great. And and, and I but feel again, like it's, me, not it's not that way. It's, it's not about the a... health of the organization. It's about the best interest of the city. Okay. All right. I think there's a White Sox cynicism and anger that you come no, by honestly, me. which is not going no, it's, anywhere. No, it really why, isn't why that. Why can't we also no, just be it's concerned just, citizens, just, citizens, too? It's, just you, more, you, you, you like, like, it's more like, important to me the other, that the, the tax money gets spent properly. The other part of it for me is, as someone who lives on the south side, sure, you're technically south because you're at Roosevelt. You're moving away. From a lot of your fan base. Yeah, and that's, that's not right either. Mm -hmm. And and it comes at a time when a lot of people will presume that that is always better. That being in downtown is always better than being in the neighborhoods. In a city of neighborhoods. It's, it's not just as simple as it's just White Sox cynicism. This is the type of crap that has been happening on the South side I hear for you. decades. I hear you. And, and, and still there is no connection. Lawrence, I know. I, I mean, I, I don't think I'm allowed to call myself a South sider on the South loop. I, I consider South loop people, South siders with a lot of people. All right, well, thank don't. you. No, a I, lot I of people, people don't. don't. Well, and I know that like there has been a complete inability to really connect, you know, the South loop with 35th street and, and South loop with Hyde park and Hyde park with 35th street. And I think they had dreams of that happening over the last 25 or 30 years, but it hasn't happened because of, because of all of Chicago's awful reasons to keep things stratified. That, that, that's for sure. But, but, but then you're kind of, you're, you're kind of pushing the idea of continued stratification. I'm saying if you want, if you have an attendance problem that you haven't been able to solve, and you'd like to build anew and own your place and put your organization in a healthier spot, this is an absolute no-brainer dream I, of a scenario. You solve your attendance problem by winning 100 games a year. Your attendance will be fine. That's that's intentionally daft. You, no, you know but it's I'm not saying, true. But, but that's, it has a huge – the team's not getting good enough. The Pirates have a great stadium, maybe the best in baseball. Mm -hmm. They don't have great attendance. They have they, they have maybe the you best win. view. You got to win, and You're they don't have draw. great attendance. It, it's still a numbers problem of fandom itself. When it comes, like to me, this definitely it definitely shouldn't be done to increase the fan base at the ballpark. Like if if the idea is well, let's move it down here so we can increase attendance. That is that to me is a non-starter. Like that, that, that to me seems like folly. It probably <laughs> will go up though. It, it'll, well, there's it'll, always it'll, a bump. It'll, early. it'll probably, it, it, it go probably up will go up immediately when they here's a new shiny place to go and watch stuff. Of course, well, you and, need and, to be a healthy and, organization. And there are just it is closer to a more populated area where more let people me, could attend it who but, are in town me, and out. Of let town. me give you an example, and it's a less popular sport and a less popular team. DePaul moves to the South Loop. It's it's ideally. In a space now where more people could go, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go see Villanova tonight. Uh -huh. I'm going mean, to go see Creighton tonight. I'm going to I'm going to go and see um, the number one team in the country. That hasn't happened yet. Their their attendance is not sky high just because of the 
the proximity of it? Well, two things there. One is like the the appetizing nature of the product or lack thereof compared to to baseball, uh, possibly. The uh, the second is the White Sox identity is South Side. DePaul's identity is North Side. Like the Whites, this you'll still be the team of the South Side. You'll just be a little closer and more accessible to downtown. I think I think you save Southside identity for the franchise. I think it's going to be a lot harder for them to sell that, especially if you leave the place that you've been for a hundred years barren. Mm -hmm. and like so there's many of others, those fans are gone. There's there's other there's other stuff to consider. Like I I'm with Lee Bay on this. I'm cool if this is what you want to do. Tell me what you're doing over there though. Like what happens at 35th and Shields? Mm -hmm. Like what happens to that part of the city where you've allowed Jerry Reinsdorf to kind of rule over that part of the city and now he's just going to abandon it? Now he's going to uh, abandon that whole identity. That whole as, as much as people as much as people like laugh at the idea of it being like off the Dan Ryan, there are a lot of people where that makes it a lot easier to get to the ballpark than it coming to Roosevelt Road. Like that it's not easy to get down here. It, but you it, do I, want it, right? Yeah, I, I think like, it, okay. de depending on a lot of factors, I am pro. Okay, yeah. But there are a lot there are a lot of hurdles that I would need to see them get over before I'm Well, they're not going to solve the hurdle of what happens at the site of 35th and Shields for the new ballpark because if they move that they, they they will have no yeah, but they, their but lease will be up. They'll have no responsibility. But the city, the city can, itself can have a plan. Like these but there's are, nothing these are that all can things replace that, I, that. There's not. I mean, what could we even possibly suggest? Right. I mean, 81 home events a year is unique to baseball, and you move it. There's. I'm you not could, saying you could even put the fire there and say, oh, well, that's no, rough. no. You, you I'm not I mean? saying like, there's, that there's, another there's, team there's goes there. That would be satisfactory. I'm saying what happens to it. And we shouldn't just be we shouldn't be so cruel to just go. This is how business works. So that neighborhood has to absorb that that the the ballpark leaving the business leaving and there being an eyesore uh, in their in their neighborhood. Not, we shouldn't be so cruel and callous and, and the to just go shiny the, thing the downtown. Tax that you're saying, nothing matters over I, anything south of Cermak. I like, understand that's what you're saying. I understand what you're saying more because they're they're choosing to gentrify themselves, right? Yes, by, by going closer to 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 the city closer to an already developed area they're choosing to gentrify themselves because their their dream which they of should what have was, done earlier which which they should have done 25 years ago and 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 their dream of being able to create a uh, a ballpark village of their own around there or that naturally happening just completely and utterly fail